hi everyone welcome back to my channel i'm so excited because today i'm going to talk about hair and i narrowed it down to pixie hair just like the one i have i've had uh people come up to me friends and some people who follow me uh, come up to me and ask me to make a video on pixie hair and probably motivate them into doing it uh, it hasn't been an easy journey of course i've had ups and downs i've had good hair days and bad hair days so i'm going to give you the journey i'm going to tell you take you through how i've managed to have this pixie hair for almost a year and then also give you the pros and cons of pixie hair and also we're going to look at the five questions to consider when you want to do a pixie cut without further ado let's get right into the video Uh, to be honest, I didn't just decide to cut my hair last year. Um, I grew up in a, a salon. My, my mom is a retired hairstylist. And then my dad, uh, God rest his soul, also it wasn't his profession, but he used to help my mom whenever he could. So growing up in a salon, I used to see different kinds of hairstyles my mom doing this and that and then there was this lady that used to come and she had pixie hair she had shaved all the sides all the way up to the back and then she only had this hair up it was short and she used to do tongs or short a small rollers so it caught my attention and i was like when i grow up i'm going to do pixie hair at some point so uh fast forward i finished my form six my form six so in my vacation I get to do my hair into straight palm from afro to straight palm and then I remember asking my parents to do that kind of hairstyle and they refused uh, again fast forward I mean in the salon I've spent almost five going to six years and last year I decided to cut it uh, I decided to cut it because of some few reasons the heat sometimes when it's too hot you don't want any strands of hair on your body and then I just wanted a change. Then uh, long hair is also boring. Like I only used to side part it and then let it flow, like let it out. I couldn't sit in the dryer for long because it was too long. I didn't like long hair, so I decided to cut it. Uh, I cut it last year on the 5th of March, so I'm almost making the hair. And uh, yeah, I've had it. I've had some bad days. I've also had some good days. I started off with a hairstyle like that is almost similar to this one though the hair was a bit longer i wanted some long hair on the side and then short uh, from here up to the back but still i didn't to be honest i didn't like it i didn't really really like it but what made what made me uh what encouraged me was people used to compliment me they liked it they were like you had long hair it was nice but this one looks more you know stylish i'm like okay since people like it let me crank it up a, a notch and and do something so i added a piece i remember adding a piece because it wasn't that long when i didn't like it i took out the piece and decided to embrace my hair and the hairstyle and little did i know that it was the perfect hairstyle so i went on from that then i used to put rollers it depended on the way i wanted it i would put maybe rollers from the front to the back that style then also from the back to the front i did tongs i ironed it i straight ironed it at some point but that was a big mistake i did because it made me cut it and i made it shorter this time when i cut it i regretted because it was so so short and i couldn't do anything with it still i came up with an idea of putting <coughs> sorry of putting palm roots and then after palm roots I remember sitting in the dryer this time it started growing back and getting long and I was taking much time in the dryer I still had to change from palm rods to straws I liked the straws I did straws I liked them people complimented and then it still grew it kept on growing and getting out of shape and then I did this hairstyle that I have at the moment. I'm still waiting for it to grow and I'll be changing it to maybe another hairstyle. I always come up with these things since I work in a salon so I know what is best, what I can do with my hair. Of course, I've regretted cutting it at some point. 
but still I love it. The bumpers are good, the hairstylists are good. You always come up together with something and we, we make it work. So that has been my journey with the hair and um, let's go to the pros and cons of pixie hairstyles. So the pros and cons of pixie hair, uh, I, I came up with a few, uh, but let's start with the pros. Uh, you look more stylish when you have this pixie hairstyle. I mean, long hair is boring. Everyone has long hair, but you stand out with a, you always stand out with a pixie hair. Then the freedom it comes with, you know, it doesn't have to fall on your back. You feel free. You don't get hot. When it's hot outside, you're okay with the pixie hair. Then there is less shading. You, the hair doesn't keep breaking like it does with long hair. Then there are fewer tangles. Actually, mine doesn't even tangle. Then it is easier to style and dye. If you want to put color, it is also good. Sometimes I put color in my hair. It is, doesn't take you know a long time to do it. It's just easy. You can still braid it if you want. I've tried to braid it a few times. I can do long braids. I can do short braids. Then it gives you more volume. The moment you cut your hair, I, there is a way it gets more thicker and you get volume. Then it also brings a woman's confidence. You're always confident about yourself. Yeah, those are the, some of the pros. And then the cons, one of them is... Uh, it is costly to do this kind of hairstyle. You have to be also in a salon almost on a weekly because I do my trims on a weekly. Sometimes I have to relax only these sides once they grow out into the afro. I keep on uh, trimming and then relaxing. It's so costly and then you have to be in the salon on a weekly. Then there are limited styling options, of course, but I try. I've, I've had pics here for almost a year. I've tried to come up with different hairstyles though that they are limited so you always have to have something on you and then it is also harder to look feminine there are times i've done it and i'm like i really look like a man <laughs> and then i have to change the hairstyle uh, into something else yeah so those are some of the pros and cons let's look at the five questions to consider when you want to do this pixie hairstyle Uh, so these are the five questions to consider in case you want to do a pixie haircut. Uh, what kind of pixie cut are you into? When you decide to go for this haircut, go to the barber, go with a few pics, go to your hairstylist, and you look at the pics and decide on which hairstyle is going to really work for your shape. And then would that cut complement your face shape? Of course, uh, if you have a round shape, an oval shape, or a heart shape, any pixie haircut you decide to do actually if you have these three shapes just go for any pixie haircut you want because you always look good i'm not saying uh people without these shapes can't have pixie hair or they can't handle it they can in case that is if you go to the right person that is going to work on your hair which leads me to the next uh, question how long have you known your stylist uh, in most cases, now mine, of course, uh, I've been here for over five years. I know these people, I know all the hairstylists, I know the barbers, so I always go to them, we talk, and I'm like, let's do this. They're like, no, let's do this. I'm like, okay, you know, such questions. And then I end up doing hair that everyone, at the end of the day, compliments. Then are you ready for the upkeep? Remember I told you it's costly, you have to do monthly or weekly visits. So if you're, you're ready for the upkeep, you can still do your pixie haircut. Then the last question is, are you ready for the time it will take to grow out in case you decided to cut this hair and you didn't like it? Or in case you've decided to grow it now, like if I decide to grow it back, am I ready for the time it will take to grow out? Of course, remember this is long, this is short. I might have at the end of the day to cut this to make it on the same level with this and then start growing it. Am I ready for that time it will take? In case you didn't like it, are you going to be ready for that time it will take to grow back? So yeah, those are some of the five questions to consider when you want to do a pixie haircut.
Uh, so today's video was sponsored by the Pearl Beauty Parlor and Spa. Uh, in case you're around Kampala, you can check us out. I work here. I've uh, been here for about I'm going to six years. You can check us out. We have great stylists. You can do pixie haircuts. You can do other hairstyles. And I hope you like this video. I hope I answered some of the questions or all the questions that have been asked by people about pixie hairstyles. And I hope you liked and enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. You know that drill. And if you happen to be new here, subscribe, like, and comment. I'll see you in my next one. Bye.